Welcome back to the channel everyone, Lee Santa Maria here and today we are doing another installment of Full Bottle Worthy Fragrances. I'm currently sampling and today we are focusing on one brand house and as you can probably tell by the thumbnail that brand house is none other than Bond number no. 9. Yes, Bond number no. 9, the niche fragrance house that is based out of New York that is an ode to New York City which every fragrance is a tribute to a neighborhood a street or what have you of New York you name it they have it and so I was very happy I um received some samples from them so enough samples so we could do this here video and I know a lot of my L's have been inquiring about Bond more since I've been posting about them more so today we're doing first impressions of some more fragrances from the house of Bond number nine as always when it comes to um, samples samples are considered first impressions on my channel dedicated reviews are designated to when I have full bottles of fragrances which that is a whole nother topic for another day and I've been doing more of those lately but alas I have let's see here one two three four five five really six fragrances but you'll see why I really say it's five in a second we have five bond fragrances to talk about today and yeah we're gonna get right into it so before we do that, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. I am rocking a bright summery red. This is the shade Red Rock from the brand MAC Cosmetics, of course. Get into Red Rock. She is giving what needs to be given. Again, that is MAC Red Rock. Everything I'm talking about today will be linked below in the description box for you to check out at your convenience. Fragrance of the day. It's only befitting that since we're talking about bond number nine, that the fragrance of the day would be a bond number nine fragrance and the fragrance of the day is none other than Tribeca yes this one is highly talked about and highly discussed I recently hauled this in my June haul fragrance video so yeah this is a very new addition to the collection so yeah I look forward to talking about you more yes again Bond number nine, Tribeca is the fragrance of the day. So now that we've gotten the pleasantries out the way, let's get into these samples. Let me tell you how I even got these samples. So Bond number nine has amazing customer service and I have to shout them out for this. So when I did purchase my first ever Bond fragrance, which was Greenwich Village um, earlier in the summer, at the time when I purchased it, they were out of samples. So I was like, oh no, that's one of the joys of like purchasing directly from the retailer. And um, I purchased from Saks, which is an authorized retailer, of course, for Bond number nine. And the staff was like, we don't have any, but you know, definitely like reach out, we'll get you some samples. So I emailed customer service and they emailed back and it was like, absolutely, we'll send you samples, what do you want? So I sent in a few things, I sent about three and then they sent me back six samples. So hey, we love above and beyond customer service, arrived perfectly intact. And yeah, we're gonna talk about it. The thing about Bond samples that I love is that they come in these little wrappers, little bonbons as they like to call them. So they look like candy. And I love that. So some of these I've already unwrapped just because I could not wait. And then others, as you can see, they're still wrapped up and we're going to truly have a first impressions together. So without further ado, let's unwrap the first bonbon. The first one we're gonna unwrap is <laughs> similarly one I already have now the full size bottle of. Funny thing, I had requested these and then I up and ordered the bottle because I could not wait, I needed it. First bond bond we're gonna talk about is Tribeca. Check that out. And even though, do I need to unwrap this? No, I don't need to unwrap it because we have the full size bottle. So the notes in Tribeca are, and I'm reading off of my iPad, just so you all know. Notes for Tribeca are cacao, absolute, green, hazelnut, jasmine sandback, absolute, cedarwood, ambroxan, moss, and caramel. Let me tell y'all, it was the caramel note for me. It was the hazelnut note for me too, just because this was given gourmand. <sighs> y'all, let me tell you something. The hype is real for Tribeca. Mm. Since I do have the bottle, I will be keeping the bonbon as a travel size. So the next time I go on a trip, I'll just throw this in my bag instead of taking my bottle. Y'all, let me tell you something. This is amazing. This is amazing. You truly get that airiness, that gourmandness. Funny story, I actually couldn't smell this at first when I first sprayed it, but then it's like over time as it sat, cause I've had it for a few weeks now. Now it's strong. 
it's amazing so you all let me tell you tribeca is beautiful it's amazing it's gourmandish it has the ambroxan airiness to it but that caramel and that hazelnut in here is giving what it needs to give so yeah i am digging tribeca oh, i'm digging this is so good love this the next bonbon that they sent me is one that i actually talked about in a previous sampling fragrance video that i did this is nomad but for the sake of aesthetics i'm going to show you what its bonbon looks like something i do like is that the bonbons look like the actual fragrance bottles so you know which bonbon you're picking up and i did remember if you all recall i do have a sample of nomad already open so i'm just going to revisit this again since we're here because y'all i'm obsessed with this scent I just can't wear it yet because at the time I'm filming this video, it is summertime and this is a true cold weather scent in my opinion. Just to refresh everyone, the notes are pear, quince, black currant, violet leaves, oud, accord, rose, amber, and vanilla. <sighs> again, I said it in the last video and I'm gonna say it again in this video. I need a bottle of Nomad. I'm going to need a bottle of Nomad around late September. Just, yes. I don't know how, I'm gonna have to save my coins, but I'm gonna need a bottle of Nomad. I know y'all are like, girl, why are you resampling this fragrance? They sent me another sample, so I'm gonna keep getting my life because I love this scent. I just can't wear it yet because it's too hot, but oh, I am itching to wear this scent. I need this. Nomad is sexy. A man could definitely pull this one off, I must say. One thing about Bond Number no. 9 fragrances is that majority of these are unisex that I'm talking about, but Nomad especially, I could see a man pulling this off because that oud is something serious in here. Definitely cold weather. Yes, that rose, that oud. Yeah, I love this. I can't say that enough. I need a bottle of Nomad, so yes. So far, Tribeca, absolute yes. Clearly, I have the bottle sitting right here. Second, Nomad is a total yes. It's just, I can't buy it yet because it's not the right season for it, but this is fantastic. That again is bond number nine's Nomad. Now, this next one is one I have heard a lot of buzz about over the years, and so I was very intrigued to get into this one. And for me, the bottle is everything because it's literally gold. And the scent I'm talking about is bond number nine signature scent. And I already unwrapped this one, so here's what it looks like. Of course, standard sample size 2B. Now when you get it, it just says Bond Number no. 9 Perfume, but its nickname is Signature Scent. And let that do what it do. So now let's get into the notes of Signature Scent. The thing about this one is it has a 30% of concentration. So this is moved into the category of pure perfume. So basically this is strong stuff. Instead of the typical EDP, this is like parfum, honey. So the notes in this one are, it has very few notes. We have oud extract, rose, tonka beans, and musk. So this is literally meant to be a East meets West situation because they're like Eastern woods, Western florals are in here. I didn't even tell you something. Let's get into it. I get the name. I get the name signature scent. This is a clean, soapy, but still oody rose. This is fascinating. Now the oud in this one is not as strong as it is in Nomad. This is more of a wearable everyday oud. Hence the name signature scent, because when you think of a signature scent, that means you can wear it anytime, any day, all year round, that's just what you wear. They perfectly embodied this. And I will say, this is perfectly unisex, like straight down the middle. It's not too floral. It's not too woody. It's right down the middle. This is fascinating. Okay. Mmm. I'm impressed by this. This is one of those scents that you have in your collection where when you don't know what to wear, but you still want to smell amazing and make a statement, but you don't necessarily want to be like wearing something that's just uberly recognizable. This is what you wear. Yes, Bond Number no. 9 Signature Scent. This is absolutely full bottle worthy because this is truly worthy of its stain. Signature Scent. This is a signature scent. If I wore one, this is the type of scent I would wear. Okay, I like that. Again, that is Bond Number no. 9 Signature Scent. All right, we're going to lighten things up a little bit. 
Now this next fragrance, I have heard all of the pretty girls talking about it, all of the eat girls talking about it. So I like to think of myself as somewhat of a pretty girl some days. So I had to see what this one was all about, what the hype was all about. So the next one we're gonna sample today, this is Madison Avenue, which of course I have pictures inserted for all of these, as y'all can see. The bottle is everything, it's pink and black. I mean, come on now. So now let's sample this one. Confession, this was the one I unwrapped first, Madison Avenue, because I was dying to see what the girls have been hyping this up about. Like I've been trying to find out. So let's get into the notes of Madison Avenue. Ooh, honey, she is in the air. So the notes are apple, bergamot essence, black currant, rose essence, jasmine, magnolia essence, patchouli essence, and broxen and praline. Okay, yeah, this is real pretty. You got all the florals in here. Mm -hmm. And the thing about this one, of course, is called Madison Avenue. So it's meant to be a shopping scent. It's supposed to embody how you feel when you're shopping on Madison Avenue. I've been to New York. I have not shopped on Madison Avenue, but I know that's where all the real money is, the old money. So yeah, I, that's why I imagine this scent would be everything. You immediately smell the apple in here that's at the top note. Mmm. And then I smell the magnolia. I get the ambroxan in here. This is definitely a pretty girl scent. This is very much, Bay gave me his credit card. I'm about to go and do some damage at all of the boutiques. That is literally what this is giving to me. Ah, uh, oh my goodness, okay. I need to just wear all of my pearls right now. Like this is something I would wear, say if I was going into the shop in Chanel. That's what this smells like to me. I like this. And I must say, if you've been following my Instagram, which you all should be at this point, you've noticed I've been sampling this and playing it. So you've seen this bottle on my stories and y'all, let me tell you something. I've been wearing it at night and I can still smell it in the morning. This has very good lasting power. That's something I must say about all of these. Yeah, these are some beasts and they hug whatever they land on. <laughs> but this is a pretty girl scent that lasts. Like this is amazing. Oh gosh. Okay, this list. Mm. This wish list is getting longer and longer. Like, ooh. Ooh wee. Now, Madison Avenue, I will say too, I think this is more of a spring scent just based on because of the florals and an apple in here. But you could definitely get away with wearing this as a signature scent. This is pretty. Okay, Madison Avenue, it's obvious. I need you in my life. This is an absolute yes for full bottle worthy. Yes. Moving right along. Okay, now this is one that has really been hyped up on social media. And you will know what I'm talking about once I tell you what it is. This is none other than New York Nights. And I must say the bottle of this one, beautiful. The bottle is part of what seals the deal for me. So let, we're gonna unwrap this here bonbon together, y'all. Like, so this one I have smelled in store before, so this is not a first time sniff for me, but it's nice to have a sample of it versus just, you know, casually shopping and like, oh, let me smell that while I'm in the mall, that type of thing. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to get my bonbon. Okay, we got it on wrap. Ah! Oh, wow. So actually my bonbon got broken. It's okay though. Okay, I can still smell it. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> this is good though. Okay. That is so random. <laughs> oh well, it happens. Anyway, it's a good thing I know I like the scent. You know, like I said, it's just, yeah. Oh well to the sample. The notes are Jasmine, Gardenia, Carnation, Patchouli, Sandalwood, Marina Cord, Coffee and Caramel. You all, it's the caramel notes in here. It's the coffee notes in this scent, which luckily, I can still smell this. Oh. Mm. And I do get the marininess of it. So that's what keeps this from being a full on, just heavy evening scent. You can actually get away with wearing New York nights in the summertime because of that marina cord in it. Yeah, I like this. This is sexy. This is very sexy. Okay, you know you bad when, when your sample is broken and I can still smell it and I'm still like, yeah, this is giving what it needs to give. New York Nights is sexy, yes. 
Then the last sample that we have, this is one of their newest releases, if not the newest release it might be. This is the Scent of Peace Natural. And the thing about this one is it's made with natural ingredients because there is an original, the Scent of Peace, that is um, very loved. There's a one for her, one for him, which I've sampled the one for her before in the previous video. And yay, this one is intact, yay. So Scent of Peace Natural, very intrigued by this. So with the Scent of Peace Natural, this one is very meant, for, it's supposed to be eco-friendly. It's um, natural and vegan essential oils made with raw materials. So that's cool. So the notes we have in Scent of Peace Natural are lemon essence oil, black currant bud absolute, raspberry, rose de messina, essential oil, cedar wood, and essential oil and musk. Okay, there's so many oils in here. I'm just trying to find out. I don't know where this is gonna go, but we're gonna find out together. Let's see here. Very nice on the spray. Very, very nice. This definitely smells more essential oily than compared to the original scent of peace for her. The lemon essential oil is definitely up top and I'm glad they listed up top because that's what I smell the most in here. Mm, I smell a little bit of the raspberry, but this is totally different from the original scent of peace for her. I must say, This one isn't wowing me. So for me, this one is not giving. I personally prefer Scent of Peace for her. That one I would get a full bottle of. This one, I'm not getting this. First impression, mm-mm. This is light. This is real light. And for a looks price, niche price, it's, I'm gonna need this to give a little bit more. This isn't giving for me. So, but I'm grateful that I could sample it though. You know, we like to sample. This is why we do these type of videos so we can tell and see if we really like something or is it just a pretty bottle. This is a no for me. Well, hey, it's our first no of the day. So, all right, elves, that wraps up this edition of Full Bottle Worthy featuring bottle number nine today. As you can see, the majority are indeed Full Bottle Worthy. I am here for absolutely. Of course, we only had one that we didn't like, but that's okay. This is why we sample. So let me know what you think of the scents I discussed today, which everything I talked about will be linked below in the description box. Are you feeling some of the scents? Are you intrigued by some of the ones I talked about? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from y'all. And then as always, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of this, that is okay. I understand. I still appreciate your time. So until the next video, I will catch y'all later. Bye y'all.